Okay, Bill Goldberg here for another installment of Two's Tutorial with Two Lamb. This rope has taken down a number of competitors. The floor is yours. But first, you need a fast slashing blade. If I hit the blade at a three position, look at the contour of that blade. It's just going to slash, but it's pushing the object out of my blade path. If I'm able to generate power coming in from the one o'clock down to the seven, that's going to give me my angle and attack. The reason why I want to go to a steep angle is because there's no weight at the end of this rope. If I come at a steep angle, basically it pulls the rope, it tightens the rope as I'm cutting through it at an angle. It won't push the rope out of my blade's path. And I want to generate as much power and speed as I can at a very steep angle going down. This is really hard because, Bill, it requires a lot of accuracy. It requires angles of attack. And in the end, it's about speed and violence. Blade management has a lot to do with it. Let's just say if I hit this at the tip, you see how I just ran out of blade. I want to hit this thing here and then pull down in a slashing You want to maximize as much of that blade as possible. It's not an impact, it's a slash. Distance will generate where I'm going to impact it on my blade. If I'm too far away, I'm going to hit at the tip. I want to measure the distance comparing to geometry on my blade. If I have a long sword, I'm going to be back a little bit more. I have a short katana, I'm going to be closer. And about where on the rope? Is it adjusted to your height or is it adjusted to where that rope is actually centered? You want to adjust it to your height because I don't want to swing it high. Understood. I want to swing it where I personally am going to generate the most power. For me, it's around right here. Show us how it's done. Hiya! Our tutorial is over.